hello hello good hello. evening good to everybody evening. every member very happy yeah thank you हेलो हेलो निखिल यस मैम हां नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट शो विल डू ओके या ओके अच्छा ओके जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट टिल आई स्विच ऑन यस यस मैडम कैन आई शेयर माय स्क्रीन यस वेट 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 या शी विल टेल यू No, hello. Not now. After the introduction. Hello, so Chandra, ma'am. Ah, she got it, dear. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, not now. When we say, na, so, uh, yani after the your introduction, you start the same. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, hello, everybody. A uh, very good evening to one and all present over here. I Nikhil Mayakar on behalf of the National Society of the Friends of the Trees welcome you to our today's. webinar in a series of lectures that we have organized in this pandemic situation so uh recently we celebrated our 75th independence day and as india is enjoying its 75 years of independence fot has entered its 64th year this august i know due to the pandemic we were not able to have celebrations this year but i promise that next year surely we will have grand celebrations as we enter into the 65th year of fot for all the new participants please stay tuned till the end of the meeting as we come up with a program list of programs that we have organized for the upcoming months as a general notice to all the participants the question and answer session will be conducted towards the end of the meeting please post your questions in the chat box or you can hold till we have the stage is open for the question and answer session so trees have been an integral part of our lives and that is ever since prehistoric times right from the cradle in which one spends their childhood to the coffin where man leaves for his heavenly abode everything is dependent on trees not only this the entire life that a man spends in between these two stages is completely dependent on nature and but obviously trees today the value of trees continues to increase and more benefits of trees are being discovered as their role expands to satisfy the needs created by our modern lifestyle in our session today let us join dr suchendra datta as she introduces us to the magical world of plant based artifacts that are derived from trees and indeed nature i now request our president dr ad savant to address the virtual gathering over to you savant sir thank you nikhil uh, welcome you all for this uh, fifth webinar in a series of uh, uh, that we are talking or giving lectures on very important uh, topics uh, important to not only all of us but they are important to the citizens common man all other members also so we have been choosing such topics that will attract everybody uh, it's not like a classical um, academics so we are uh, seeing that the common man has an interest so in that context uh, today's topic also i appreciate all the organizing team of webinar a strong team and they have given this uh, topic of social relevance uh, which is right from uh, interiors in the home to that of uh, uh, museums or any kind of festivity that we do at home and outside public functions these artifacts are very very important i only feel that uh, making artifacts they should be really based upon uh, such a material of a plant origin which is not harvested as live plants but it is a by product or in a secondary growth or the dead wood or uh, dead roots or leaves whatever it is in no way that should be harming because in the interest of making artifacts more attractive and so that 
people should not go for chopping the trees or injuring the trees or cutting any part of the tree so that should be the message the artifacts are really artifacts they are not uh, causing any harm to the natural existing species of any kind or even to that of a forest in, in in general so with this i appreciate and without taking much of the time once again i welcome you as the president of the society and i am sure uh, suchindra is known so well to us uh, she is a core academician and then uh, working in the national college and uh, she has in the past helped us for our societies uh, meeting functions organizations exhibitions and i am sure she was visited to the friends of these exhibitions also she is very close to the world of nature and the friends of the trees and uh, all allied uh, associations like that so thank you very much thank you thank you dr savan i now request my colleagues from the national society of the friends of the trees to introduce our speaker for the day dr suchendra datta good evening everybody it's a pleasure to introduce dr suchendra datta assistant professor in botany at the rdnsh national college mumbai who is also this year's recipient of the kanchi and kasturi gandhi award for plant nomenclature she is a fellow of the linnean society of london and of the indian association of angiosperm taxonomy a nominated member of the board of directors mnps by mmrda maharashtra a scientist whose name is included in the four international and one national database for renaming of genera and typify, typifying of plant names dr suchandra is actively involved in teaching and research in plant taxonomy for more than 25 years motivated by the blatter herbarium at the saint xavier's college mumbai where she carried out her doctoral research and the various herbaria she visited across the globe she developed the institutional herbarium at the national college in 2015 and successfully registered it with the index herbarium of the new york botanical gardens usc besides nearly a thousand specimens plant bees artifacts photo exhibits of plant animal interactions the herbarium is documentations of more than 80 non conventional vegetables sold in the market in various parts of our country and the traditional recipes moreover the herbarium of which she is in charge has described two new varieties and one new forma through the work mind you of the undergraduate students she is also developing a medicinal plant garden having around 2000 to sorry 200 plant species at her college in collaboration with sushila ayurveda hospital and research institute a dedicated teacher of botany for fy to phd level and passionate about plant taxonomy she has delivered invited talks on plant taxonomy mangrove diversity and urban ethnobotany at various colleges and universities in india a field person at heart she has imparted knowledge about nature and wildlife conservation to the students of various levels through excursions at places like andaman islands pockets of the eastern and the western himalayas the nilgiri range and of course the western ghats she has organized conferences seminars workshops and plant exhibitions on various scientific and social parameters the most noteworthy being the three days national level botanical nomenclature workshop jointly organized by her college and the botanical survey of india in 2019 an avid researcher in the field of phytogeography and taxonomy of angiosperms dr suchandra has undertaken several research projects sponsored by mangrove and marine biodiversity conservation foundation of maharashtra the university of mumbai and the university grants commission the outcome of these projects has resulted in the renaming of several plants directly and describing new genera and species of several plant families with 22 research publications in national and international journals and presenting papers at various international conferences she has also worked as a reviewer for several scientific reports and journals and is the associate editor of the journal 
of pharmacognosy and phytochemistry. She has motivated not only her PhD students, but also her undergraduate students of the first year and the second year BSc to be inclined towards research. Till date, 15 undergraduate students have presented their papers at national and international level conferences and published the same in reputed journals. She has created teaching aids based on field-based studies on plant morphology, economic botany, forestry, and plant taxonomy. Through the popular e-newsletter, NEEV, she has spread awareness and sensitized the urban population and botany students towards various aspects of plant taxonomy and its application and conservation, along with making them aware and concerned about the dwindling traditional practices and traditional food recipes. Friends, the FOT members would be delighted to know that Dr. Suchandra has worked on various aspects of plantation and tree census in Mumbai and has successfully conducted plantation activity of around one lakh plants in the city, contributed articles related to the environment to several newspapers and was interviewed by popular magazine Chitra Lekha and the TV media. Further, she has performed biodiversity documentation and environment impact assessment for the proposed mining site and Sindhugarh district, Maharashtra, and has worked as an applied environmental research associate in a project, Sacred Groves in Northwestern Maharashtra. Her services as a botanist have been utilized for several lift irrigation schemes in India by the government of India. As a student, she did her alma mater, the St. Xavier's College of Mumbai proud by working as a botanical student assistant for RCF at Greenbelt Project, NTGF, I'm sorry, NTGCF at Jaipur and Ajmer, coal-based thermal power station in Madhya Pradesh, proposed hydroelectric projects at Chikaldara and Ratnagiri. This speaks volumes about Dr. Chandra, though I can go on and on about her, but I do not wish to stand between you and Dr. Suchandra. So with this introduction, may I invite Dr. Suchandra Datta to tell us about plant-based artifacts vis-a-vis -vis pro ecological development. Dr. Suchandra, welcome. Please, the webinar is all yours now. Thank you. Is my screen visible, madam? Yes, Suchandra, madam. Yeah. It is. <coughs> Am I audible? Yes, yes, very clear. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Benaz, madam. Yes, thank you, Savan, sir. Thank you, Sakina, madam. And thank you to all of you at FOT for inviting me to share my knowledge on plant-based culture and products vis-a-vis -vis pro-ecological economy. Now, when I was selecting the topic for FOT, I was thinking what to talk. People talk about trees. I know that FOT mainly work on tree preservation, tree conservation and all. But what I thought that there are something which is missing from all of us today. That is all of us celebrate various cultural events, religious festivals. And actually the way it has to be celebrated, we are missing it somewhere. So I thought, let me take example of some of the festivals some of the artifacts and prepare my talk. So whatever I will be talking today is, I'll be sharing my experience to all over the places where I have traveled and gathered the information. My first slide is a very popular example of a Konkan house where we see a ash guard hanging on the doorstep of every household. Now why, and they're popularly known as kohola. Now question is why kohola? Why is that particular fruit being hung and not anything else? So as botanists, we know it is a high water content fruit, low calorie. It is medicinally important. It improves digestion, help people lose weight and a very good source of soluble Fiber. So it's a very nutritional food 
which one can consume. So hence what I thought that one should know why kohala and it's a very common scene in Konkan household. Next is, I have documented it from a Adivashi area. We all know Varli households and we all are familiar with the Varli tradition, Varli custom and Varli painting. But one thing, I went during the Holi, they have a ceremony called mango water ceremony. And on that day itself, they start eating the curry, the raw mango, and they play holy. So on that day, what they do is they cut the mango in pieces, distribute among the elderly people, take their blessing, and start eating curry, and then after mango. And that day, they have feast with um, rice powder, ladu with chicken and tadi. Now, we all know in the summer season, March, April onwards, summer start. In the summer season, mango is a very good fruit which helps us medicinally. It is nutritional. So one should be consuming it. So our traditional practices, we all are forgetting the old traditional custom and we play Ranga Panchami, we play Holi the way today's people are doing. There are a lot of practices which we used to do as our childhood days were there, but now we are forgetting about it. So it is just to show our traditional customs a lot to do with the Rutu Chakra, with the Ayurveda. So this is my second example. Now in Shravan Maina, in Kunkan, the ladies, mostly the Brahmins, and in some other places, some other groups, they do Mangala Gauri Pujan. Now in Mangala Gauri, people have been gathering leaves and they're doing pujas. If you ask nowadays, I have been, when I was trying to document this, I was asking many of my friends, how do you do Mangala Gauri Pujan? I'm not a Maharashtrian, but I have been asking my Maharashtrian friends, <coughs> how do you do Mangala Gauri? What are the leaves? What are the flowers you have been using in it? And why are you all using? So what answer I have got is, we don't know whatever is available in market, we have been using this. But I tried to search for older literature, traditional literature, and I found that there are um, various leaves uh, which are available during that particular season, during the beginning of the rainy season, though those two things have importance. But if you see in many of the houses, this is forgotten, whatever we are getting in the market, we are using it. We don't even know why we are using it. It is available, so we are using. Churi Puja is another traditional thing which is practiced in various parts of Maharashtra in some other states also. Now, churi means a bundle, uh, bundle of flowers and pujan refers to the worship. So in this day, some of the Saturdays, sorry, Fridays and Sundays, the ladies do churi puja, they uh, do worship and then they distribute this churi. Churi means these bundles, what you can see, they are churi. They distribute it to the people. Now, what are these? These all have all medicinal plant. We can see um, Sizalpinia palcherima. We can see Thivesia. We can see, um, this is also Thivesia. Then we can see Marigold. Then we can see Bitter Leaf. We can see Durva. We can see Banana. All these are medicinally important species that we have been knowing and this is used to do Churi Puja. Ganpati decoration. In Bombay, all of us or in many cities, we have been decorating our Ganpati idols with thermocol, with all decorative items. But if we go to Goa, if we go to Sindhudu district, we see they have been going to the nearby locality and trying to get the plants which are available nearby. And with that, they do, do the decoration. This photograph I have taken in a place in Amboli in 2017. And here we could see, they say, now the tradition is going because people are not interested to go to the field and neither they know the 
plants which are used in the medicine. So my uh, urge to you all of us is we should be protecting this practice to so as to conserve the nature. If we know the value of it, we will definitely be conserving. So through all these ceremonies, through all these festivals, we can very well conserve our nature and many of them are um, vanishing from the nature because of various other reasons along with the deforestation. Equispatri, which are used in Ganpati. Now, all of us know the photograph I have taken from Villaparle market in Mumbai. We can see this is Acacia auriculiformis, this is Plumeria, uh, along with many other things. But none of these are used in 21 Patris in Ganpati. If we see, I've tried to gather the names Machi Patram, Artemisia, Bilba, Agel Marmalas, Datura, Apamarga, Achirantha, Saspera, um, Chuta Patram, then Vishnu Kanta, Devdaru, Sindhu Durva, Gundaki, Ashwatha, Arka, etc. So this is the least of the plants. Now, those who are scientifically inclined, for them also, I have a message like Apamarga. If you see Achirantha Saspera, what we get in the market, even if we try to give you Achirantha Saspera, many of the people I have seen, they are using other species of Achiranthas. Now, there is a need to work on it, whether all other Achirantha species give have the same scientific uh, same uh, medicinal importance as Apamarga. Apamarga is Achiranthas aspera. Um, one of the member in uh, 21 Patri is, I believe, uh, Deodar. We don't have Deodar here, but I don't know what we are using in it. Calotropis procera, a very common plant. Solanum virginianum, Cynodon dactylum, Gisipus mauritianum. If you see all these plants, have lot of medicinally importance and they help us curing many of the disease during the rainy season. So one has to be little careful enough what we are buying. We are just giving money and buying something, but we do not know why we are buying it and what are we doing with it, why they are used. And while doing so, I have seen people are selling Gloriosa, Superba, with the underground part, which is the one which is medicinally important, but Gloriosa Superba is not one of the 21 Patris, and that plant is one of the rare plants as mentioned in the um, medicinal plant book. Navdhyana. If we go to different parts of India, we will get different list of Navdhana, even in Mumbai, I tried to get Navdhana from various Baniya's shop and they have given me different, different items. No two shops gave me the same thing. I'm still searching for an authentic list of Navdhana, but I have not got it still. If anybody can help me, I will be happy to know it. Then flowers associated with Devi Puja. Just after Ganpati, we have Navratri, where we do the worshipping of Devi Durga. And in Devi, in Bengal, we have a system of Kalabau Pujan. Kalabau Pujan is this, they um, wrap the um, banana tree, banana plant with um, uh, sari. And along with that, they use different leaves of nine plants, Navapatrika Pujan, and Saptami day, they do Navapatrika Pujan. Nava means nine, Patrika means leaf. Now, what are the nine plants? If we see, this is Xanthosoma, that is uh, one of the Aram family member, turmeric. Um, this is uh, Javanti, that is uh, Sesbania, Bilva, Dhan, um, Kochu is Colocasia or Xanthosoma, Ashoka, that is Saraka Ashoka, Punica Granatum, Banana, Lotus, that is Nilambo Nucifer, etc. So along with this, during the Navratri Pujan, we also worship or we also use Nectanthus arbutristris flower, that is Prajatta, and 
one of the symbolic thing is sakaram species which we call kashful that is a significance um, this plant grows uh, profusely during this season and the, this is a uh, very symbolically represent the ashwin mahina so now if we see none of these plants are worship they just wrap uh, the banana tree with a sari and whatever available leaves are there they do use that but all these material they are useful in medicine during this season so this is the list of nava patrika banana is uh, is referring to goddess brahmani kachvi that is alocasia kalika karkuma durga jayanti sesbaniya kartiki these are different names of devi as well as the bilva is used for shiv puja in maharashtra we have seen sona batap ceremony this photo i have taken in pansai village near raiga district mangao so what they do they cut a branch of um, this is uh, bohinia resimosa that is called sona they worship it the elders of the village they worship it then they cut it and then they distribute the leaves of it to the villagers first they give it offer it to the devi and then they give it to the villagers once again this is an important medicinal plant cucumis melo variety agres trees what is um, broken on the day of diwali it is called karit it symbolizes the bad things in life and walk forward that is what we do we throw the bad things out and of uh, embrace the good things so in ancient times farmers walked the barefoot in their field crushed seed of it they prevent the entry of the ring worm from the soil and probably that was the reason this custom was started in warli household we have seen that this fruit is used here if you can see here this is a cow dung uh, structure and here they have used as a uh, diva this uh, karit fruit they have used as a diva they also know the significance of this plant and now this uh, um, fingerprints or these uh, thumb prints these are the made during the festivals when the guest come inside the house they one one of them they do this uh, imprint and they go home this is made with the rice paste at the background of uh, some mud geru le this is kalam in sindhudurg i have heard though i have not seen kalam is mitra gaina parvi flora it has got significance in marriage ceremony once again this is a very important medicinal plant it's a local tree in sindhudurga and many parts of maharashtra not to confuse it with kadamba kadamba is neolamarkia kadamba belonging to the same family as kalam that is anthocephalus neolamarkia kadamba rubiaceae family now the same plant this is in maharashtra i have talked about same plant by the uh, northeast uh, the terai region there is a tribe they do worship as karam puja and this plant is known as karam uh, is offered to their karam devata this is a um, tribal festival tribal occasion when they do these are all plant based occasion where they worship the plants and thus they protect the plants for getting vanished the, nobody dares to disturb these plants now next comes navarna festival and post sankranti this is in the month of january february when we have our makar sankranti in maharashtra various parts of the country they have harvest festival i tried to gather an information and i have gathered i am still writing on it that how the 
harvest festival in different parts of the country are celebrated i have got from himachal pradesh up to the southern part of india i am still yet to write about it so this is one of the festival i am showing from bengal i belong to bengal so i prefer to show it in bengal what is uh, the way they celebrate it the harvest season after the harvest season and during that time only we get the gur which is from the supari uh, sorry uh, borasa uh, phoenix tree khajur tree so uh, the gur khajur gur this is a famous khajur gur and the, how the gur is prepared i have shown and the sweet meat made out of it and this is a delicacy during the navanno festival and the posh sankranti today if you see this tradition is going hardly any of us if you ask me i also do not know how to make this uh, stuff this is called pithe i also don't know because from our grandparents used to do it after that our parents have done it but not as much as our grandparents used to do and to my generation we all don't know about it so this is how the information is getting diluted neither we have the way to get it or probably we are not inclined to do it i don't know what must be the exactly the reason to this fast life may be the reason for all these things now but chaturdashi in diwali we during the narak chaturdashi in bengal we have a uh, um, preparation chodha sag chodha means 14 so on the narak chaturdashi day we eat the bhaji with all these 14 vegetables leaves in that if you see amarphophylla selenia that is costaci costa speciosus chinopodium album cassia sophora brassica gentia azadiracta indiga sesbania sesban alternanthera sesailis tinospora cordifolia trichosanthes dioica cordia dichotoma anhydra fluctuans clerodendron infortunatum and marsilia quadrifolia all of us uh, some of us are botanists here we all know, must be knowing many of these plants are helpful in treating the liver problems uh, they are treating the diabetes problem during the uh, navratri during the uh, what called diwali we all eat sweet so this is the day when we eat these all these vegetable which has lot of better principle this will help us in maintaining our health even if during the festivals we eat something sweet now i go to the artifacts till now uh, can i take the question or i will take it after my lecture i have finished with the festivals is anybody having any question you can ask me as an when you wish to. we take at the end at the end of okay, this okay okay now i take it the artifacts now one of the commonest tree in dry area that is swamida febrifuga ragatroida this is used in dry flower arrangement i was in a field trip to one of the uh, areas in dhanu and i have seen bodhi so these girls were taking it and they, i asked them what are you doing they are selling it to the village market where yeah, yeah. from where it goes to the um, city markets now in the supermarket i have seen these plants are sold as 10 rupees per plant mm -hmm. what are these ladies getting hardly 10 rupees for maybe whatever amount they get 10 kg 20 kg because these flowers are bigger ones and these flowers are little light so i don't know how much flowers they will be requiring to get even meager 100 rupees this these girls they don't get this much also but when we are coming to the supermarket in uh, big shops we are buying it for 10 rupees the same thing happens with the lagestromia speciosa fruits we are buying lagestromia speciosa fruit in our supermarket that is shopper stuff if i go i have taken it for more than 10 and 15 rupees and we say botany do not have scope it does not have money it does not have a job job we have to create we have to look for our own occupation so i don't believe in it that our subject is a dry subject and it does not have any economic thing we have to keep our eyes and ears open this is this will help to uplift the local population those who are gathering and giving it this is a beautiful flower soimuda febri puja which is collected from dhanu come to non conventional vegetables 
this is the storehouse i was reading a facebook article today and it was explained that it is a nature for laboratory where we go without spending anything we get everything whatever is nutritious olden days people used to hardly used to go to the forest they used to get everything from their food we have started eating mcdonalds we have started eating all uh, from all chains of market but we forgot our thing we feel ashamed to eat this i have spoken to many people they feel even the botanist if i give them she i don't like this but this is so rich in nutrition the left hand side photo is colocasia petiola the young part this is uh, second photo is from kalwa mountain in mumbai this is ensete superbum in florescence which is very very tasty the flowers that lady is carrying dinda that is lia sambucinia young stems which are all used in market as vegetable this is very interesting i still don't know once only i have got it in the rook market this is called cochinda and this is a plant which has lot of alkaloids urginia this is a liliaceae now it is hyacinthaceae member uh, alkaloids are highly alkaloids and the underground part gives you itching in hand and this is i don't know how much uh, we know about it and whether it is really eaten once only i have got it in market this is shevra that is amorphophyllus this is iliagnus fruit which was being sold in karjat market this is very common in northeast i have also seen it in meghalaya now here in dhanu station this lady is selling selling the uh, khajur the dhaman these black fruits are dhaman these are jamun these are dhaman grivia fruit this is targola borasus flabellifer then i think these are mangoes bananas etc so these are all non conventional vegetables which are having no fertilizers no chemical addition so they are very safe to eat i don't know why don't we accept them in the conventional ma market if i have seen all these people who are selling it i have been experiencing that in india i have not seen any of the market all over the india except tripura i have not seen anywhere these people get a place in the main market so from where the economy is going to be i don't know how their life will be uplifted they, they don't have a place in the main market means the demand is less when the vegetables are so nutritious when they have so much of economic uh, nutritional value why can't we eat it and we the botanists have to promote such thing we ourselves have to eat it i don't know how many of us in this audience like to eat it on a regular basis and like to buy it from them i preferably see they are every plant is medicinal but in this presentation i have selected which are sold in the market so they are available they are sold now the question comes if we take it all of them will be one day vanish now tell me what are these plants except this cochinda leaf which one is going to create a question mark in the availability of these vegetables they are either fruit flower so if and they know better way to harvest them than us we are not talking about the commercialization of them whatever is available if we take it these people get a uh, livelihood this is a photo taken in national park kanheri caves rooftop this boy is eating the pseudo stem of the ensete superba he is a boy of young uh, 20 21 years age he knows this is tasty i did not know i have tasted it and they really taste good and this is eaten raw now this is a shravan thali uh, i have clicked the photo in their group and in this why i have taken one is uh, aruvari which is known to all and this is the vegetable of cashiatora takla as i know takla is the vegetable if you eat 
once during the beginning of rainy season the entire waterborne disease of rainy season can be taken care of how many of us do it and why i have taken this photo they are sold in the hotels i have taken this photo from a um, i was getting a shravanthali the name is shravanthali in devruk near devruk railway station and they have included this in their cuisine in their menu so in bombay also if we can do it if we can and they are accepted if we don't give it to the public how will you know that it will be accepted or not we take it for granted that people will not like it we have to make it palatable we have to make it make it attractive it is the responsibility of us botanists to do the same now wadli style chicken preparation a very simple thing and what i liked is what they have used you know uh not much elaborate because the wardly they say we are very poor people we don't have much money so we use hardly any ingredients but one thing they have in, used is the oroxylum indicum fruit they have pickled the fruit and they have used it in chicken preparation first i thought i don't know how will they taste but they are delicious this was uh, clicked in one of the wardly household mr anil wangad who is one of the uh leading a uh, wadli artist and his name is there in unesco artist list also now i will be taking articles one by one now first i am taking fibers which are taken from the plants now vetiveria zizonides khas this is also known as sikki grass khas all of us know in maharashtra we use it the roots what we get in the market these roots in a um, bundle and we use it as a water coolant or purification of water whatever in the summer season besides that this is one of the herbarium sheet from where i have taken i don't remember this is the plant now this is the doormat which i am using i have taken it from one of the madhya pradesh household they are they were selling it this is the khas um doormat and this is the sikki grass art sikki grass art is a common art in madhubani district it is uh, it is a very commonly uh, it is used as a soil bounder binder along the uh, river bank or some uh, along the ponds and all so it's a, so commonly used and so much of attractive things can be made out of it this is the thing i have been using what i am preaching today i have been using it myself the many of the things i have in my college i have a collection of more than 102 artifacts which are all from the um, plants so this is an art from bihar and madhuban now the thing is how many of us will go and buy these baskets all of us will go for uh, plastic baskets or uh, nowadays tupperware and all sorts of thing we are buying these are this serves as cooling they don't spoil the vegetables they don't spoil the things these are attractive i don't know why don't we buy and these are the ladies which uh, this is this of course this photo is taken from the net so all these photos are taken from the net except this one this i have taken from one of the exhibitions so um, these are the ladies who are there now we talk about the women empowerment we talk about the schedule caste and supporting them uh, tribal people supporting them so many things but Uh, we are expecting the government to give us some scheme to support them but we ourselves can do is we can buy their products whatever they are doing we can support them by ourselves but we don't do it uh, we say no these are costly and at the um, much cheaper rate we will be getting something but we are waiting for the government to uplift their economy next one is sabai grass of odisha eulaliopsis binata and these papers are made from eulaliopsis binata uh, we won't write in a paper i myself don't write in a paper which is not white but these all are the papers which are um, uh, made from the palm leaf fiber uh, sorry grass leaf fiber that is sabai grass and this is the processing center of sabai grass and they are making the, the grass fiber the chatai and baskets and all these are made this is a handicraft of odisha 
So why sabai grafts? Because they have high cellulose, pentose with low lignin content, mainly used in paper industry, exported to Kerala, West Bengal for rope making also. Now, we are talking about the cutting of the trees. This is a problem for making the papers and all. Uh, one solution can be this. This is a very use, usually easily available grass in Odisha. It can be cultivated in many other parts of the thing. Cyperus pangori, one of the common cypress species found all along the in uh, country along the uh, lowland area. This is called Koda, Koda grass, Madur grass. Madur is mat. The Sundarban area, it is famous for making the Madur. So this is how they collect the Madur grass and they process it. And now I will show you, can anybody guess the price of the Madur, uh, the mat? The right hand side, can anybody guess the price of the mat? Can anybody guess, please? Yes, the price of the mat, it is 10,000 rupees, a normal mat size. And see the art, artwork in that. This is all natural color, the natural uh, uh, fiber from the plant, cypressy plant, which is commonly available. So it is the art which makes it more priceable. I don't know whether I should be telling it it is expensive or this is just the price it should be given, I don't know. This is from Sundarban area. This is, uh, but same art, you get, go, go to the South India, the same grass, Kora grass. There they say it Kora grass. In West Bengal, they say it Madhur grass, where the grass is the same. This is the art in Kora grass. This photo I have taken from Saras exhibition. See, government is trying their level best to uh, promote such artifacts but we ourselves, I have been going, there is crowd, but crowd in place where clothes are there and in the food stall. I don't know, I will come to that also. The clothes stores and popular stores, but hardly any people go to such people and search for the uh, artifacts which are made from the plant base. And these are made by the artists from various village areas. Another thing, skinoplectus, Lacos trees. This is a uh, art from Manipur. This is Kauna reed. These are the bags. You might have seen it in many of the exhibitions and they're very lightweight. I have seen it in Manipur itself. There is a women's market. The entire market is maintained, uh, managed by the women. The artisans are women, the managers are women, everybody. And the gents can go there to buy the things only. But they are, these people make it there, then and there, and they sell it. It's a beautiful art, Skinoplectus lacustris, Skumanianthus dichotomus, another dwindling art of our country. This is restricted to only a certain part of the Assam and North Bengal. In West Bengal, the northernmost corner, there is a Kuchbia district. This is a um, area where this art is given. I will, this is a Marantesi member, which is grow, which grows well in Kerala also, but we don't know. And the stem bark is used for making the art. You see the stem is cut, then the leaves are run, then how the process is there I'm showing. Now this lady, and this is the table mat I have purchased for 500 rupees per piece a table mat I'm talking about. Uh, now this lady has got the national award for her art and this is the bag which she is holding. She has taken it. She has sold it to me for only 300 rupees. She doesn't even know what she has sold. You can fold it like a small rumal. You can fold it that much. And this bag she has made out of this Skumanianthas dichotomous. And this is called Shital Party. Shital means cold and Party means the uh, mat. Now, in many of the places, you get this mat. In Bengal, uh, the rural areas, people use this Shital Party. So in the hot summer, this does not make you feel hot. But today, we are not using this. These things have been replaced by our nylon things. And we are preferring it because of their cost. Now, this lady is a scheduled tribe lady. What do you say that we are government, we are looking at the government and their scheme, whereas this lady, she has made this and she has sold it only for 300 rupees. This bag is made out of 
these grasses and you know how these colors are made the colors are made when you soak it in some uh, rice grill जो हम फेंक देते हैं उसको उसमें सोख करके रात को ड्यू ड्रॉप्स गिरने दो उस पर ये कलर चेंज होते जाता है सो दिस इज सच अ इंटरेस्टिंग आर्ट एंड दिस आर्ट नो बडी इवन नोज नेक्स्ट टू दिस कुछ भी आर एरिया एंड दिस गुगुमारी एरिया दिस इज द विलेज इज गुगुमारी वेन दिस पीपल स्टे देयर आउटसाइड देयर विलेज नो बडी इवन नोज दिस आर्ट nobody even knows this art. and the flower is scumanian uh, the dicotomus flower in the month of may the use of fritter of this vegetable now musa paradisica banana banana fiber they make such beautiful sarees banana fiber sarees now they are getting popular youtube you get lot of these sarees and in amazon people are selling it ananas komosas the pineapple fiber the dress with pineapple fiber though i have personally not seen i have seen the um, the by product i have not seen much but i have seen how do they make the ananas fiber the shirts and all i have taken it from the school this i have seen cannabis fiber cannabis as all of us know the bhang which is a banned drug cannabis sativa this plant has less than 1% tsh which is um, responsible for the um, the narcotic properties now the fiber from these are used to make these artifacts these uh, clothes and the pulli they call this shoes pulli and they use it in their temple made out of the bhang fiber and this is very exclusive article in kulu and all those areas this i have taken the photo in uh, somewhere sangla or somewhere now this is a bowl which you can see this today only or just two three days back i was just seeing in somewhere the people are searching for the means ways and means to eradicate the uh, water hyacinth this bowl is made up of water hyacinth and andar se a jute fiber se banaya hua hai basically this is made out of water hyacinth people are searching for the ways and means to eradicate them but one can work on this way artifacts and you will get the use of it now coconut fiber coconut craft all of us know there is nothing new this mug is i have purchased from sri lanka and this is a coconut fiber tea mugs and this is the door mat it is at my home only this is the coconut fiber tea mat and this is the kharata the jhadu what we use this is from coconut now i come to um, can i i just getting a remote control of your screen can i do it hello nikhil hal she is asking question nikhil uh, vital rote is requesting a remote control of your screen what do i do no no nikhil declare okay i have that declared yeah. now yeah. i come to botanical jewelry all of the ladies all of us would like to go for the jewelry now if you see all of us know borasas flabellifer the tagora the leaf the palm the people leaf nadhan now this ear ring is made from dried borasas flabellifer leaf venations of the leaves can be beautiful and they are used as a um, ear ring the rice grains they are used as a ear ring and none of these the rice grain ear ring and the pendant together is 700 plus rupees in vishwa bangla from where i have purchased it this is the shop inside the uh, calcutta airport and this is a government bengal government shop this is uh, from one person who was selling it in one of the other exhibitions they have come from pondicherry they have a full pledge set up where they make botanical jewelry all the colleges they have been doing bio jewelries but what i have seen the people are making the jewelry which are not long lasting but these are the things what one can make and these are long lasting one can sell it and the cost of it is nothing less than 175 180 minimum 
Now, this is the bangles, sikki grass bangles, kumanianthus dichotomous bangles, and hair clip made out of bamboo. This is from West Bengal, this is from Bihar area, and this is from West Bengal and Assam. Now, another thing which we have never probably thought, this I have seen with that Pondicherry guy who was selling it, the abutulum in indicum, which is a common weed all along the roadside of Bombay. The fruit of it is common. None of us ever thought to make something out of it, and this is the earring out of it. Cost is somewhere more than 150 rupees. Same is with casuarina earring. I think these casuarina fruits we see everywhere in Bombay also. So one can make such things. Now, Cocos nucifera. Now, the two earrings, what I am showing, left-hand side and right-hand side, both are earring made out of coconut shell. The difference is left-hand side is the tender coconut and right-hand side is the uh, mature coconut. So with so much of the traditional artisans, they have so much of knowledge, they can make it uh, such beautiful things and they are selling it in uh, very good price. But how much they are getting? The people who are the middlemen, they are getting. How much these artisans are getting, I do not know. This is a palm leaf craft which somebody one is making in South India. Many places we see they do the decoration. In Konkan, they may be doing, I, I have not even seen now, but they may be doing, I am sure. But this I, photograph I have taken in somewhere in Nashi. Now I come to musical instrument. All of us know Tanpura, Sitar, all these are the musical instruments. The lower part is made out of one of the varieties of Laginaria, that is the Dudhi, one of the Dudhi variety. Now the upper part is made out of Cidrella Tuna wood, which is very good for men. Then Phyllostache species, this is musical bamboo. If you uh, rotate it, it creates musical sounds. So there are so many materials. This recently, few uh, last week, I was in uh, Kudal and there was a tribal uh, museum in Pingori. And there the Thaku tribes, they have made a instrument and they were narrating me the story. I can share it sometime with you all that they were uh, earlier days, people did not have that much money. So they used to use the their household items for making the music. Uh, the sounds and I have seen they are using the uh, they are dona they are baskets and all made out of various woods for as a musical instrument and their sounds are and this is their traditional art tarpa as all of know is the typical art of the warli uh, tribe now if you see the tarpa made out of this is bamboo uh, sorry laginaria this is bamboo and this is the dried borassus for lavelli for leaf and in between here they use two hairs hairs means uh, our hair they use for making the sound well so this is also a uh, instrument where three different plants are used Lagenaria sicaria. This is the vegetable which is used for the making the tarpa and other. Now, pata chitrakata. Pata means a uh, pot that is a big uh, thon of clothes, big uh, cloth, uh, meter after meter. They keep on narrating their household stories or they narrate the uh, Ramayana, Mahabharata, anything. So, like this, and they do painting. Olden days, actually, they do this painting with the um, natural paints, the colors. I have asked them, which paint do you use? They say, nowadays, we use the fabric color. In olden days, we used to use the plant-based color. IIT, IIT, I don't know which one, they have done some experiment with the natural colors and uh, from, obtained from the plants. And they are doing some work. And these are the people who are doing, and they themselves are so poor so rich art, but the artisans are really poor because they don't have any takers. Natural colors like Clytoria ternatia, Curcuma longa, Enhydra flaquens. This is one of the vegetables. Then we have Katha. Then we have uh, Basella. Basella means Mayalu fruit. And all these plants are used in making the natural paints. Then I go to different other uh, artifacts like this is the 
toran made up of rice this is uh, done by our uh, artisans from madhya pradesh now i have used, i have uh, used it in 2013 and this is 2021 i click this photo so probably in 2020 sometime and this is still intact it is on the door since that time in 2013 march till uh, today this plant this toran is like this so uh, rice grain it, it has a lot of symbolic uh, value it is traditionally in the religious way these are very this thing and it has got medicinal importance also and this has very nice look now borasas flavelli for rip this is the fan used in west bengal but today with the advent of ceiling fan and the air conditions these things this art is dwindling the borasas flabelli for hat blow borasas flabelli for um, fans these are a common things found every household in rural bengal if you know many of the stories by sarath chandra chatterjee bankim chandra ravindra tagore you might be hearing these fans now this is borasas flabelli for leaf art of odisha you can see how intricate this art are this is the palm leaf borasas palm leaf they are cut so how nicely and these art are a small piece of 12 inch by 12 inch cost around some somewhere around 5000 rupees and you see how good this art is they are beautiful they are entire story of ramayana mahabharata and all these story mythological stories are narrated in this art now this is uh, they say supari painting but this is the fruit is of calophyllum inophyllum a tree which is growing well in the coastal areas they call it supari and they sell it with this 40 rupees or 50 rupees they sell it for but it is very nicely uh, done art now these are the bamboo bamboo varieties there is see india is such a big uh, country and it has so many species of bamboos but it has only 19 species of bamboos one day i was just thinking how many species of bamboo has a common name why do i bother such thing common name rahega iska matlab hai logo ko ye pata hai log ye use karta hai isliye uska liye ek naam diya hai there are many bamboos which do not even have any common name so people don't even know them and bamboo art is one of the rich art in our country now you can see some of this art made up out of bamboo this is one of the village market somewhere i don't remember they are selling all bamboo products bamboo hat and probably this is of somewhere in west bengal or assam so this is the uh, in assam they use it as pan ka dibba this is a um, uh, um, uh, something uh, all these artifacts are made. these are the mugs which i have used it also but you can't use uh, for the tea and all for a long time but this definitely used it for drinking the local beers and what they say the they use the outer the whatever that silica um, covering is there they use it for some medicinal purpose now this is another very important interesting material this is ashinomeni indica sholaud in west bengal now this sholaud the west bengal you might have seen all the devi decoration this is made out of the pith of the solawood plant and you can see the plant which is commonly found in all along the art is really beautiful and the cost somewhere goes around minimum is 1000 rupees in bombay if you see the cost is much more this is a small thing which costed me more than 500 rupees it is not even 4 inch art thing this uh, blue color thing now this is the typical art of uh, the devi which is uh, you commonly see in west bengal uh, durga puja this is made out of uh, shola wood and it is called dakesh shaj indian bengali marriage this is one of the must thing which is made out of bamboo now karyota urens the uh, pistol palm the wood is used in making the vessels the making the uh, cutleries etc pongamia pinata macaranga peltata erythrina variegata melina arborea four common plants which are used in making the wooden toys of savantwari today if you go to savantwari wooden toy market most of the thing the local market 
local toys are replaced by the toys which are brought from up sharanpur and all those areas the ganjisha which was the common traditional game of the sindhudur people that is you don't see that thing now and these art is still now i this time last week only i was there i have seen at least some of the wooden vegetables i have seen but these are the art which has to be protected why they i asked them why are you not making it they say we don't have the trees we don't have the raw material and nobody is interested that is another thing that is another thing now a common plant urena sinuata which is the um, weed we can say growing all along our roadside and this rope is made out of the urena sinuata stem now urena sinuata fiber is supposed to be the substitute of the jute fiber so one can think today we are talking about the synthetic fibers and natural fibers these are all natural fiber one can do lot of experiment to uh, popularize this fiber uh, articles uh, the fiber cloths etc this is the uh, ambadi hibiscus tetraphyllus and the pen is made out of the stem of hibiscus tetraphyllus all of us are writing with the plastic pen and we are talking about plastic free campus plastic free area but how many of us have thought to replace our pen with such kind of items which really will help us in making pollution free country now sarees all of us like now i i was really interested in studying the motif of the sarees in all traditional sarees like banarasi our chanderi then uh, paithani and all and i was reading a thesis on paithani and i was uh, means i understood that this paithani motifs one of the main motif is inspired by the calotropis flowers calotropis flower is used in paithani motif i never thought this flower will be of some inspiration to any of the artisans there are many other flowers many other uh, natural organisms uh, birds etc they can be a motif but never understood that calotropis flower if you i try to understand which part of paithani they have used it it resembles at many places but i am not very sure i won't be able to see this is the part where they have used it but in banarasi if you see many of the motifs are like Uh, marigold flowers in bengal we have jamdani jamdani is the flower pot and all these arts which are made in bengali calcutta cotton sari they have this kind of art now this is one bag which is one of my lecture i was giving the same lecture to a kurukshetra university people and they are one of my participants she said madam i have a, a bag which is gifted to by my mother it is made out of calotropis so from that lecture i have included this this is a calotropis fiber bag that lady has made and uh, it is gifted to her daughter and she presented this photo to me this is calotropis fiber bag now we have a problem of packaging the material we are using plastic we are using thermocol but this is this packaging material is used from the pith of the this is a stem section this is the dried pith and this is a pith of the papaya tree uh, i believe here dr nandan kalbag sir is here in his facebook i have seen a beautiful cactus stem which uh, this reminded me of his in his facebook i have seen he has preserved, preserved a beautiful cactus stem uh, xylem uh, i don't remember the title he has given he might be telling me better so i have seen it in his facebook very few people i have seen collect such thing nandan kalbag sir definitely he is an inspiration to me i have been learning a lot from his facebook though i meet him very rarely but i have learning a lot from his facebook so with all these what are the concerns the cheaper articles versus the traditional but expensive article we might like it but when we have to spend money from our pocket then we have to think which one should i take so here is the question of what we want how much we want and what we should buy 
ignorance about the value of the plant based craft a fewer market in the country for such craft luckily the northeast india the market and their people are much more aware even in sri lanka i have found people are much more aware of their craft and such thing is available included in their main market joint family culture to nuclear family culture system probably this is another reason why we are not having the knowledge or inclination or anything what might we might be saying is the access to popular sources through internet probably as everybody is talking about internet and e learning etc i personally you might say that i am i am wrong but i personally feel our traditional system is more powerful they are more capable of taking care of all our problems than i don't say that internet is bad google is bad everything is good provided what we should take and what way we should take we should be knowing it acceptance of available resources and shortcut method in our busy life we look forward to shortcut methods probably this is another reason why and non availability of the right plant material in the market according to me some of the suggestions to have pro economical time probably awareness generation it can happen if we can have college and university level to sensitize the young generation through syllabus until and unless it is included in the syllabus in all see people say this is a botany thing we don't need to know why not the commerce why can't we have the commerce people know all these things why can't we have the marketing people know all this why can't we have the people who make the uh, advertisement know all these things they are the young generation they have better ideas they will probably do a better uh, propaganda of these things make policy to promote plant based traditional craft to uplift the socio economic status of people involved in this craft and encourage celebration of cultural festivals in conventional manner instead of the modern way thank you very much i would appreciate the questions if i can answer i will answer thank you thank you very much hello yeah thank you ma'am suchindra ma'am it was really very interesting and uh, very informative now i request dr sasi rekha ma'am yeah to uh, yeah summarize the program and uh, questions yeah uh, that and was comments very, yeah sure thank you so much uh, yeah. safina madam uh, dr suchendra it was a very very interesting side of you that i have been exposed to today because i have always known you as a taxonomist now this is a very very uh, important uh, Uh, uh role i mean uh, uh, roop i should say roop of you that uh, you have uh, studied so much of it it's not only the taxonomic part but you have also studied the way it has been used and interacting with um, uh, the, the tribal people and the people connected with plants and that's a real interesting thing and i think uh, we can take a, a, a message from her interaction that we should also take interest at least if not interact with the people at least we can uh, Uh, uh go ahead and learn these things and uh, appreciate appreciate the use of the plants uh, that she has uh, mentioned here it was a very very good uh, presentation uh, and she has covered uh, uh, religious ceremony the use of plants in uh, religious ceremony uh, uh, where where obviously that is the first thing that uh, comes to our mind when we talk about plants and especially with Gan ganesh chaturthi coming uh, ganesh festival coming uh, in close uh, uh, future i mean near future uh, it's it's important and uh, as a child i should i should share this uh, uh, my experience with uh, you all that when whenever mummy used to uh, gather material for the puja and uh, daddy used to uh, be very specific all these leaves have to be present in a separate thali the flowers and all and then when i questioned them ki why you are insisting on a particular uh, uh, inclusion of flowers and all then he said ki these are the ones uh, which are used for rachana so he took 
care that those flowers are present in the uh, plate and even the leaves. And that's how I took inspiration. And we used to grow those plants in our house. And we used to actually collect those leaves specifically uh, and keep it for Ganesh Puja. So that is how the interest has created. And I'm sure uh, uh, the children nowadays, the younger generation, should take a, a cue from this uh, talk that uh, uh, instead of just... Uh, uh, brushing aside or uh, just listening to it as a fashionable uh, talk that we are using natural products and all, it should actually get into trying out these natural products. As she uh, mentioned that we should take interest into how, what goes behind making all these uh, items which she has mentioned. The uh, as, as she rightly said, the uh, botany is uh, sort of uh, underplayed, if I have to say, uh, that telling, telling that there is no scope. The scope is what we we create. The scope is what we create, and we have to show to the public that this, this can be done with the uh, thing. And that she has very successfully explained with her uh, different slides and uh, wonderful uh, uh, explanations of each one. I, uh, there's one more thing which I want to talk when she talked about non-conventional uh, food. Uh, the wild plants and all. Uh, uh, for some time, even I never knew ki the plants which are found wild can also be eaten. And uh, it was a great, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, enlightenment for me when I saw people eat, eating that forshi baji. Forshi baji, I think, is chlorophytum, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dr. Suchendra, is, 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 if I'm right, if I'm wrong. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. It, it, some years back, I just came to know that it is uh, available in the, in the wild and people actually collect it in the, in the uh, early part of the monsoon and they sell it. And I have never tasted it myself. But uh, just two weeks back, two weeks back, there was one, uh, uh, this thing, uh, rhizome of banda, banda baji, they call it. And then uh, when I asked them in the market what it is, he said it was banda. It was looking like Arab, but too huge. I was not sure ki what it is. Then he said, iska baji bahut acha banta hai. Uh, Maybe my, one of the dioscorias because the big things are coming nowadays. I don't know. Yeah, but I tried it. And this time my, my son was with me and he said, let us try it. Then, uh, then I asked how, how it has to be made, uh, made. I did not know. So I searched the net. I said, let me find out how it is prepared. When, the, when I saw the recipe, it was a very simple recipe. I tried it and it tasted so well. I mean, it was so nice and no itching. Like, like normally we get from the uh, root, uh, this thing, rhizome uh, vegetables, you get that uh, uh, irritation, no? the itching sensation when you eat it. There was no such kind of uh, this thing because I didn't even add tam tamarind. So uh, this is something which was a, uh, a, a this thing, a new experience for me and I started liking it. And I just used one whole thing. I didn't want to try too much, but it was sufficient for both of us, me and my son. And uh, yeah, there was one more thing which um, it was rightly said, ki, when we do this puja, uh, uh, we blindly follow whatever our ha elders have uh, told us. Ki, this, this is a traditional practice and then this is how it is done. And uh, again, I should mention my son, Hari. He never misses a point, uh, misses a uh, chance to ask me why you're doing this. And I am unable to answer because even I am I'm one of the, uh, the public who follows blindly. My mommy told me to prepare, uh, do a puja in a certain way and I'm doing it in a certain way. It is like, you know, we are just doing the puja. And if we understand why we are doing the significance, then I think probably we all will be uh, appreciating the uh, uh, why we are doing and the, the significance of it. And at that, uh, probably uh, we have, uh, what do you say, advanced in uh, terms of uh, technology and uh, even the status uh, in terms of monetary uh, econo economy and all. But then we should not neglect the traditional uh, 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 or the uh, sentiment, traditional sentiment, and understand why it is, and also respect those people who are following it. And that still exists in some of these villages. It's uh, it's very uh, nicely uh, uh, brought about, brought to us in uh, front uh, in front of us by uh, Dr. Suchendra. And these traditional practices have to be respected. And I'm sure we'll be all uh, following you. And uh, a very good example is naturopathy. Naturopathy uh, is. Uh, uh, only uh, sought after when you feel that uh, nothing else is working for us. So why not in the beginning itself we follow naturopathy? I mean, we can always uh, uh, do certain regular uh, uh, 
uh, as a regular practice, utilize certain uh, medicinal uh, this thing, which will create an immunity booster into us. Then we don't fall sick at all. So maybe probably through this food as a medicine, if we utilize these uh, different types of uh, 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 traditional foods, which we are obviously not knowing as to how the rural people are actually doing it, uh, uh, preparing it, it, it will be very interesting to have a session where they actually uh, do it. I, I, here, one more uh, uh, thing I would like to share. Uh, in the beginning of July, we went, we had uh, been doing tree plantation through the weeks. So there was one, uh, uh, one of the weeks, uh, we had an interaction with the tribal people uh, who stay there. I don't know which tribe they are, but they served us with uh, nachini ka roti, uh, that is roti. And then uh, there was nachini roti, uh, uh, jawar ka roti and uh, bamboo shoots uh, sabji. You know, bamboo shoot sabji, I have not eaten at all. And it was really tasty. I mean, these are things which uh, are locally available and probably they must be having uh, uh, some kind of a livelihood. By taking this, uh, taking interest in the traditional practices, probably we can uplift those which are uh, being neglected, those people who are uh, not being noticed. We can bring, it, bring them to, uh, bring them in the front uh, by taking the handicrafts uh, as Suchendra has been practicing. Uh, she has, uh, I was really amazed looking at uh, the number of artifacts which, she's, uh, which she has presented before us. I have seen them in the market, but sometimes I used to just go across that uh, thing because obviously like any other uh, person, the so high price was such a cheap material is what the, comes to our mind. I think that uh, attitude we have to change and uh, probably we will uh, agree with what Dr. Dr. Suchendra has said. And then uh, when we uh, change that mindset, and appreciate the material and the uh, uh, pain that has gone uh, through by the person who has made that artifact, we will appreciate and then also uh, support such kind of art, uh, artifacts or uh, the art that still exists. It still exists in our country. And I'm proud to be an Indian because of that. There are so many different types of uh, artifacts present in different states. Though uh, sitting at home and looking at the net we enjoy watching it, but then that's it. We switch it off and then uh, uh, forget about it. But when we actually get into doing uh, the practice, it will be very good and uh, a good realization. Buyer jewelry uh, competitions, we do so many in our different colleges. And the students do uh, have the talent to do this arts. When they start using this uh, kind of um, you know, this thing, utilization of the material and at least uh, have the knowledge of the different uh, material that can last long, which, uh, which she has showed about um, uh, the boracis uh, material, boracis uh, leaf that has been, uh, like you have that entire epic carved out on a single sheet. And it's, it's really interesting. It, this itself can be used to uh, tell about the scope of the botany. And it, it was a very uh, interesting uh, session, Dr. Suchendra. And um, as Shola Wood, which you mentioned, for some time back and some years back, I should say in 1980s and 1990s, there used to be these uh, training sessions of making artifacts with solar wood. And uh, sometimes like, I also wonder ki, why it is not in market at all. Now, I don't see them in market here so often like the other plastic material and other easily available and long lasting, as, as it is said, the long lasting uh, kind of artifacts which you use for uh, decorating your houses, the solar wood is not available. And probably that is one of the, uh, the deforestation is one of the reason for the uh, loss of these astimony. Um, I feel filling up of the wetlands. That yeah, is the main yeah. reason. Yeah, because the lands are being utilized for commercial purposes and it is being blocked. So that is the reason we have lost it. I think during uh, my college days and during the initial part of my uh, service, that is 1980s and 90s, that time we used to go to the RA uh, colony. So there used to be the solar wood as a jungle where it is replaced by the different other pasture grasses now. So though we don't come across these ashimony uh, plant. So solar wood, that time it was our first introduction to the uh, solar. And then they said, you can make uh, different artifacts out of that. So it's a, it, and when you saw the Devi decorated with solar wood, it was really interesting, very nice. So uh, it is very much required that we don't uh, ignore the traditional practices and, uh, and the interaction with the rural people and uh, understanding their sentiments and the emotional connect 
with the plants will definitely help us improve our uh, ecology, that is the microcosm, and we can uh, participate in the uh, uh, eco restoration. I mean, it, helping them getting that material so automatically when we have the plants made available for these people, we can be a part of uh, the eco restoration of uh, this thing. So that way we can, uh, in a small uh, attempt to uh, uh, improve the ecology around. If I'm uh, wrong, please correct me. And uh, it was a very good session, uh, Dr. Suchendra, and I really personally very, uh, I enjoyed it very much and I'm thank you for such a lovely presentation. Um, I didn't see much questions, but I have definitely seen a lot of appreciation for your uh, uh, presentation here and many of them are like, you know, uh, uh, probably in started getting interested in botany. So I think that, that should be the wonderful success of your uh, presentation today. Thank you so much. Dr. Sashi Rekha Tushal sir has a question. He's yeah. raised his hand. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't. I didn't see that. Is the question written, or maybe you can ask it yourself, no. Dr. Tushar? No, it's not Dr. Tushar. This is sorry, Tushar. Mr. Tushar. <laughs> Tushar. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Tushar. Yeah. Hi, Dr. Suchendra. It was fantastic. As uh, Dr. Sashi Rekha was saying, she has not tested the bamboo comb pickle or that vegetable. But you have not left any corner of the India. So my question is that, how come being a teacher, you have like, you know, you have gone into a lot, you talk as if Sindhidurg is your native place. So how was that possible with your uh, college and everything, lots of curricular activities you do and uh, exploring uh, like everything to the uh, price? I belong to West Bengal, but I love to travel everywhere. And for my project work, I have been traveling different parts of the country and I have been visiting Sindhudurga because my plants are found there. So I have been visiting there last week also. I will. I was there and next to next week, again, I'm going to be there to visit the Myristica swamps, which is come <laughs> recently developed and yeah, studying yeah. the lichen from that group. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'll be visiting it. So that's how I have, and I like to interact with people during my visit. This time also I have come to know so many new things because I have visited that Pingori Thakur Tribal Museum. And there uh, I am now working on it that how in herbarium, we say that uh, the uh, plants are uh, catching insect and all. And there I have seen a leaf which is 300 years old. And without anything, with uh, any special treatment, but with the, um, but with the um, coconut oil. So this is such a wonderful thing I have seen. So uh, a lot of scientific information also I can gather from such common interaction yeah. sessions. So I love doing it. Yeah. I want to show, as Dr. Kalbag was showing his home made of some wood. I'm showing my cap of this made of vetiver uh, roots and oh, as well lovely. I got one of the caps <laughs> that with this uh, this bitter leaf like you know plant so these are the usage yes we are using it as uh, you said like you know, we must give the market uh, to this uh, yeah all these uh, yeah. things to survive that is what it thank you thank you for a lovely lecture yeah that that was a lovely thing to show uh, Tushar and uh, and the only thing that I have always uh, it was impressed with Suchendra was her enthusiasm. The enthusiasm that she has shown in the subject in knowing uh, new things and also encouraging the students into uh, uh, loving botany. And that is that is the basic quality of Suchendra is, which is making what she is now. And I really, I'm uh, glad I, that she's my friend and uh, I really enjoy uh, when she starts talking, I really uh, get engrossed and learn so many new things from her. Thank you so much, Suchendra. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if there is any, uh, I don't think there's any more questions. If there is no, then uh, Sakina, it's over to you. Thank you, Sasi Rekha, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, now I request uh, Mr. Tusar uh, Desai to, oh. for a uh, word of thanks. Uh, can I just a few comments before that? Yeah, yeah, sir. Some words of wisdom I must give, no? Yeah, yeah, sir, uh, definitely. <laughs> First of all, uh, so, uh, let's say I, I appreciate the comments uh, quite illustrative from Dr. Shrishireka. And uh, I'm further happy that uh, Suchindra, Dr. Suchindra did not uh, 
uh, go into that part where people have been doing a lot of damages to national uh, this forest reserves you know uh, using these woods carvings and all that and that attracts people but then ultimately they are made from the wood and the wood means they go for cutting of the trees and that is dangerous you know the uh, so good that she talk most of it as a uh, climbers or leaves or the fibers and by products of those so that is a, a great tuning of the lecture so we appreciate her and uh, in the line of discussions and her talk a uh, few more things uh, you said you no know, the bamboo shoot sabji is very good you know there are specific markets for this wild vegetables you know and seasons so those who are tested and tuned to the test of the wild vegetables now some commercial swarup has come to that ran bhaja uh, there are books and then there are some kind of festivals they done or marketing has been gone into that but the bamboo shoots you know it has really raised out of our forest you know bamboo forest so uh, cautioning about that ecologists have to work because bamboo roots are good for stopping soil erosion number one this dentocalamus structure was a such a wild variety in a kokan but that is disappeared further the government has gone into the bamboo marketing you know so there are centers of bamboo processing you know so vis a vis unless you go for uh, the cultivation of a bamboo for a commercial that's fine but the other side the tribal sites and the rural areas where the bamboo just chopping has been done the bamboo shoots are harvested you make pickles and you make very good vegetables and all that so we should not encourage that practice at the same time what we see in a market including the other market so many festival time materials coming so many artifacts are prepared so the people have to be like we say you no know, stop buying chinese products because a question of economy but here we should encourage to go for uh, forest produce material artifacts so that it provides it provides livelihood for this people uh, if you happen to go to dahanu talasri mokhada and talasri near the center um, near a college there is a very good center of making this artifacts and the women folk that are employed there they good get good uh, employment and also they make a material this sold now from uh, dang to that of saputara to dahanu the entire adivasi belt there are very good centers have come up with the government assistance to make an artifacts so you people like you the academician should go and advise yeah. what more can be done so like this tarpa instrument you know is so popular here you know uh, in maharashtra and uh, tribal zone this tarpa is uh, an instrument adivasis they play with that you know so this tarpa uh, is also the part of, but it has to be marketed commercialized you know uh, if you go to the fab india you will find 20% of the material which is coming from such material my final appeal is that we we and academicians like you the researchers can again bridge this gap and this adivasis and commercial centers if you can link them well you can provide more more amenities to them marketability to them see the ration shops and all those have come very late by the government but before that the source of livelihood of adivas adivasis in when there are not good shops also available no flourish market like they used to go to the forest and get different kind of vegetables in season the corns and what they call wild dioscoria used to be staple food you know so that part now we have been forgetting and that has been gone into extinction so again the conservation also issue comes into so all these issues have to be brought together and uh, with the lectures like this i think this kind of uh, discussions and uh, helping nature making people to know what is grown in the forest and what they can use and encourage that in the cruise adivasi economy so this part has to be plugged with this lecture so otherwise very i mean you have very 
I, I, sky was the limit for your lecture. So many things that you could talk, and there are many things. You know. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm through. Sakina, I finish. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Savan, sir. Now, uh, uh, at, over to Tusar. Yes, yeah, thank you very much, Ivan, for giving this opportunity. Uh, sir, I must supplement yeah. the information to you. We teachers have our 80 days teaching. <laughs> so, we are remaining days. Eight, ten weeks vacation. Plus, on excursion for a botanist. And then they can go on project studies, which Dr. Suchitra told. But provided that you have liking for it, you know. And yes. She has best utilized all that. And she has grown so big. Thank you. <laughs> sir, sir, we know her since our flower show. We had yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. that place. Yes, Dr. Yes. Suchitra, thank you very much. It was a very, very, like, you know, informative. You, and really, I wish I had, like, I always say, like, you know, wish I had a teacher like you. I would have been doing the business of, instead of machinery, I would have been doing the business of these artifacts. Such a lovely thing. And it just, we must, uh, like, you know, ensure that these uh, artisans should be made, like, you know, livelihood. They should be surviving. And yes, it is not the, any government or anything. Me as an individual has to get into that. And really very eye-opener. And botany as an economy, like, you know, this has need to be a new subject. Uh, so can be introduced and really like, you know, this is all required for the people. Market, every college should have one their market, like, you know, so that is something. Otherwise, it becomes only the, like, you know, uh, for the academic and point, uh, like, you know, marks purpose. But That's if that can be... Good, good suggestion, yes. Uh, so uh, can I just uh, add a few points if permitted? Sure, yes, it's all yes, yours. Sure, yeah. uh, it's since all so yours. much of discussion is happening and uh, Saman sir has uh, given very <laughs> nice input. So I just uh, want to mention an uh, incident. I was working on a project on Wadley tribes. Now, what are the plants they're using and all? I, and I submitted this proposal to University of Mumbai and I got the project. But the remark I have got, I don't want to name any person, that uh, there was... Everybody has done it. So for the sake of uh, just promoting, for giving the project, we have given. But I feel so much is there. Uh, sir was talking about the art of Warli. See, if you see, there are so many people, they have encashed the Warli art. But how many of us have thought to give back something to the artisans from where we have learned? If yes. you see the Tarpa dance, a common dance motif, that uh, wall painting you see, if you see the boys' motif and girls' motif, who are playing the tarpa? In the painting, which is done by the common people like us, there the ladies play the tarpa or gents play the tarpa because we do not know the science behind it. Actually, the gents play the tarpa, never the ladies touch it. They dance. Yes. Second thing. So like this, so people are encashing and it is a not, uh, we are not appreciating their art, rather we are insulting the art because we are not understanding and we are just understanding the triangle round. It is not to hurt anybody's sentiment, but we have no right to hurt their sentiment too. So there is a need when the money part comes. Always, when we talk, that's why I avoided talking any phytochemistry, any uh, the <laughs> what I have been doing taxonomy. I avoided doing that part because I could have talked over all that. That is my favorite topic, but I avoided doing because everybody does this. This is the part which is missing from all of us. Yes, and they have the hidden talent, you know. Are you aware that the person who designed this Warley painting art who got a Padma Shri and uh, then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was so much impressed. Is it Jibya Soma Masses? Yes, yes. You are I right. have met him at You're his great. home and a, a sad state is his son is commercializing the entire thing. Oh. I have been meeting them since 2010 and after he died that the uh, Wadley people have started doing. And there are so many stories there. When I was no, visiting, no. there is a person from Wadley 
they are now modernized somebody has come and told them that don't eat the don't eat the meat because yes. then god will punish but it is their main food why should yes. not they eat meat they, yes. when you are going to a temple you should not be eating meat for 7 days these are all spoiling the tradition we are spoiling their tradition who are we to spoil their tradition and we who are we to alter their tradition but these are the things happening i and can't then, put it in public but i know these are the things since you have done so much work suchindra you please visit the a place uh, very close to uh, just across the road of talasari college okay. meet principal rajput yeah. and there is Surely, center sir. center supported by lasan and tubro okay and you, with your uh, encouragement there and something given by you the new ideas and you can bring those from whatever you have seen in bihar and west bengal and if you find those plants are over here and here they are not used there so this knowledge and informations have to be brought in here you know so this is the issue uh, sure, as well sir. many things like that you know we we grow in that grow, grow in that area but you know i was surprised to find sarso ka saag so delicacy over here sabji in hotels yeah. and way we we grow so much of this uh, sarso that is mohri and people are not uh, used to eat because it is a highly aromatic plant like you know aroma which is not yeah. very pleasant yeah. so there this is a very good nutritive value just now uh, our uh, colleague was asking that nutritive value so this sarso ka saag when adivasis don't know that it is edible and they can like this like you said takla they know but many people in city they don't takla but the sarso ka saag they grow it grows profusely in that area they should be tuned to have that in the part of nutrition so i think your visit to those centers is very very necessary and many of those who are knowing all these issues you know thank you sure ahead, and there is a need to fund such projects when people are doing because such projects say people will fund all uh, scientific uh, wet lab projects but such yes. projects i don't know if we botany is going to if the sociology is go they will get because it is their subject Yes. I don't know. It's the irony of the situation. I mean, I don't know. Yes, of course, they will get the, the different stories. <laughs> yes, yes, they are different yeah. issues. <laughs> yeah. May yeah, I just add to so. that? Yeah, just to add that. See, I had been three years back. You know, Mr. Sanjay Patil from Bayaf. He had uh, invited us for the uh, entering New Year with uh, the tribal people. And unfortunately, there are only ten people. And all these, like you know, they welcome us at their ways. at the village and they welcome and the they were uh, the tarpa was blown and we they danced with us yeah. and the whole day we were there it was very really lovely unfortunately it was two days it was cut short and lovely food was both ways non ways they were not they were not following those myths of not eating meat like you know so it was a lovely uh, concept they like, you know celebrating new year with the tribals and uh, this was the bayaf project and uh, it was very really lovely like you know it was came to know lots of things of course i stayed back with sanjay but uh, it was uh, something different to be given back we are promoting a project called uh, by the word list for the word list yeah uh, four yes, day yes. five night project with them and let us see how successful we can be surely surely this whole apoti community can come with you like you know we are interested we can surely that. do something yeah. and i know a person and he is a very nice person uh, he is uh, rather uplifting the wardli tribe after jibya soma mase from the simil nearby village he is uh, uh, he is wangad anil wangad yes and yes. he has taken like uh, many of us are botanists here the photosynthesis the on a <laughs> leaf how the cycle happens how the warlies have taken the change similarly this thakur tribe that yes last week i have visited they have done even corona through puppetry It's oh. a very nice thing he has seen Ramde Yoga. I have the video. I can share it with whoever yeah. I, number I have, and then you can share it with each other. Uh, the warli, the puppetry with the yoga, International Yoga Day. So these are the art which we have with us, and they are beautiful. Such people are not known, and he has got a job in Bombay as art director in the film industry. But he has gone back during the Corona, and he is doing it there in okay. his village. So lots of lots of thanks, Suchendra, for the lovely information. You need to have a 
a whole day session like you know not a one hour or two hour zoom session such a wealth of information we uh, from behalf of fot managing committee and the all office bearers we thank you i thank uh, shashireka and benaz and nikhil that the the team so thank you for uh, conducting such a lovely session so thanks again for all the viewers and uh, keep plugging more and more people get uh, i always invite people to get uh, a fot membership so it's uh, like you know we have lots of lots of this is just when we are in pandemic so post pandemic we are now opening up so we'll have lots of workshop jendra we invite you at that color natural color making workshop So it's my free invitation on behalf of the managing committee. Yes. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Savan, like you know, for heading such a lovely organization and so creating. Big, 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 big round of applause. Yes, absolutely. Thank yes, you, sir. We all need to clap, like. You know. So thank you, Dr. Dutta. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. Once, hello, uh, Dr. Suchendra. Yeah. There is one uh, comment. Uh, Nan, uh, Dr. Uh, Nandan Kalbak sir is asking that I would like to popularize bamboo craft, yeah. which I am making for last many years. I have seen it Such, in, on his yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he is asking that how can I do that? Yani how can I do that? People have to buy it. That's all. <laughs> uh, we can keep as uh, Nandan Kalbak sir. We can keep your exhibition, and I am. Very I would say I would also say this silent thing the I can say this I don't know any of you have seen it or not I really want to see that you can How push it to it? this uh, uh. tribal centers which are working commercially now so what are yeah. the making you have like talasir in other places you can push it there the quantum whatever is uh, you are able to give it to them and it's commercialized and lesson to praise into that so they get fetch a good price and you can teach the women folk there the girls and they can also learn to do that so you can propagate that art uh, through those centers you can try that yeah i can give a demo also online demo if anybody is interested okay okay yes sir definitely we will keep one uh, I, will, I, will, yeah. i will connect you with that center nandan ji Uh, okay. Kalbak sir, can we keep a uh, if FOT organizes and if we can do it together with FOT one live exhibition of yours? Uh, uh, Amuka, yeah, in Bandra yeah. because we are in heart of the city. Yes, but only after this Corona vanishes. Pardon? Yes, after Corona goes. Oh yeah, yeah. Whenever yeah. you say. Tushar, since our yes. old friend and there a lot of contribution to the world of nature, <laughs> yes, we yes. shall give we shall give one stall free of cost to Nandan at Airport Exhibition. Yes, wonderful. Hello, Nandan Kalbak sir, we will keep your uh, online demonstration also. Also, yeah. Thank you. So 